Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And I'm actually doing this before the event uh, featured in this video for once, instead of doing it months after. Because this, unlike all the others, I'm on location, so I figured it'd be a little bit more appropriate to actually do it in time. So anyway, you can see over there in the background, there is an arena, and that's where I'm gonna be going. It's about an eight minute walk. It doesn't seem like it, but you do kind of have to twist and turn through blocks. I did take a little bit of a walk before because you know the I'm in a hotel the maids are going around and stuff so it's like yeah I'll give them time so I took a long walk and there's a bunch of shots I got of just random stuff around the city including the arena the arena is where I walked to first and then I just started walking elsewhere but some cool stuff so that's probably the first couple shots you're gonna see and then I'm gonna head over to the arena for the game of course so good video it's gonna be a good video all around um, did I even say where, where I was? I'm in Utica, uh, for Utica Comets versus Rochester Americans. Uh, I'm, I'm actually here for a different reason. I'm, uh, doing camera work for a, uh, Division Three junior soccer tournament in Herkimer, which is like 20 minutes from here, but the hotel happened to be in Utica, and the arena, which Utica plays in, is right there, and I just happened to have the day off today, so... Pretty good stuff. Um, so yeah, on my walk over there, actually one of the pathway shortcuts is right there, but then there's like a snow pile <laughs> cutting it off, so you kind of have to walk in the grass to get to the next street, but that's interesting. <laughs> just something interesting. But anyway, that is pretty much it. Enjoy the video.
Duncan is committed to supporting the community and will donate one pound.
time, third down is called 1925. 25, Robert Rowe, Rafferty, 24, Ricochet, and 13, Paul Lane. Okay, so this is everything gotten from the Utica Comets game on November 16th, 2019. And of course, this was the first time I was ever there, so I did pick up my normal t-shirt and hat. Um, they didn't have a lot of other stuff. If you watch my other videos, specifically during baseball season a lot, because my league baseball team seem to have a lot of stuff that I collect. Um, there's usually other kinds of stuff that I like to get, like programs, uh, souvenir cups, uh, trading cards, which in general, AHL just seems to really be uh, <clears throat> pulling back on those kinds of stuff, specifically trading cards. I think like a few years ago, there were several teams that had trading cards. And now I think the only ones that sell team sets anymore are the Penguins in uh, Wilkes-Barre. So, and uh, programs aren't really that big of a deal anymore in AHL, I think. Uh, Phantoms do have one, but they have never once advertised it. And it's not really out in the open either. Like, it literally took me more than two years to find out that they even had one. So, um, but yeah, that, I guess that's a story for another day. So, essentially what I'm trying to say is, at most other teams, I would have a lot more stuff here for my first time being at the arena or stadium, but this time they didn't have a lot. And if they did have any of those items, I was looking for it. I could not find anything. Like I said, it took me more than two years to figure out Phantoms had a, um, had a program. So <laughs> maybe I just missed it, but I was really looking around the store, looking around the concourse, couldn't find anything. And, um, uh, so yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's move on here. So this is this is the printed ticket stub for the night. Utica Comets, Rochester Americans. Um, then you have some ads. That uh, Tavern and Grill is actually 
um, I wouldn't say connected to it, but it's on the same land. So you literally walk out one of the doors and it's right there. So, um, but yeah, that's a printed ticket stub. Um, here is the giveaway of the night. Um, when you walk in, they gave you this team photo. And at the end, it was really cool because down, literally right outside the locker room, you went down the stairs and they were right all right outside their locker room um at like kind of in a line of tables and uh you know you're able to get the whole team to sign it so that's really cool and also once you're done you walked right through you know the the media place where they always have the uh post game interview kind of stuff they had the backdrop with ads and the Utica Comet logo i hope i'm describing that well enough for you to know what i mean so that was really cool. And they do it, they do autograph night a whole lot better than Phantoms do. Um, you know, they actually make sure everyone in line gets their autographs. They're all in one place. They're not scattered around in groups of two or three around the whole arena. Like Phantoms, they do that and they only give you 45 minutes, which seems like a lot of time. But when you, you know, you have lines, you end up with that much, which I would... I think I get on the higher end of most people when it comes to autographs. You know, those people that actually do it legitimately, not... Because there are some people that <laughs> have, like, groups of four or five people trying to sign the same thing so they get as many as possible. But, um, you know, if you're only one person getting the autographs for the Phantoms, I think I'm on the higher end because I always choose the shortest lines. You know, if you're going for a very popular player and you really want that player you're going to stand in a longer line so you'll probably get less so you know basically utica does their autograph night a whole lot better than uh phantoms do so but that's pretty cool and it's in a team photo too which is uh i'm not going to say better but it is different than that you know I, honestly i don't know which one's which version I prefer, because those are like actual posters, and each individual player has their own picture sort of thing, um, and this is just team photos. I don't really know what I prefer. It's still, you know, unique and pretty cool, though. So, yeah, and nothing on the back. So that's, a, that's that stuff, and now the stuff that I got in the store. I think in one of the cases in the store, I found, like, a Monopoly game for Utica or something, um, which I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I mean, my hometown is literally just a small town of like 10,000 and we have a, uh, a Monopoly game. So, um, anyway, here's the Utica Comets hat. This is one of their alternate logos, the U and then the, uh, you know, what's supposed to be a Comet, but actually a hockey puck, if you look at it, you know, flying through the U. Um, they didn't have a wider range of hats. So I kind of got, you know, one of these old style hats adjustable with this metal clip um which i'm not complaining about but it's you know normally i would have you know something like that you know to me i just prefer those kinds of hats but they didn't really have that wide of a selection so um yeah that's the hat and this is the shirt pretty plain shirt just a gray one with the main logo on it you do good comments there's that comet hockey puck again and some stars and uh there's nothing on the back i can show you that but it's not really worth it yeah because there's nothing there so um yeah anyway uh utica was a great city great arena for what it is it is the smallest arena um in the ahl by quite a bit i think it seats 3800 um but yeah, so everything I've pretty much said in this video about like, oh, they didn't have this, they didn't have a great selection of that, that that's just because it's a small team. Like, I'm not, uh, I'm not saying anything bad about them, it's just, you know, <laughs> and they're in like a arena from like, built in like the 60s too. So, um, you know, it's just what they have. So anyway, I guess that's pretty much it for me. Thanks for watching and I will see you all later.